Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be looking to calculate the probability of multiple events and considering the two scenarios of with and without replacement. These probabilities will be calculated with the aid of a tree diagram. When we consider multiple events, we have to consider the scenario of with replacement or without replacement. Now, without replacement is pretty much a situation where I might be asked to calculate the probability that you know somebody will choose and eat the two white jelly white jelly beans. So you'll eat one and then all of a sudden you have one less jelly bean to choose from and then you'll eat the other one so we might be asked to calculate the probability of eating two black jelly beans or two white jelly beans or any other combination now with replacement this is a situation where our sample space does not change in other words when I roll the die I have six sides to choose from if I look to calculate the probability of rolling two die and I want to know what's the probability of rolling two sixes, well, I will have one six on each die. That does not change. Now, we're going to look at two questions. The first one, we're looking to consider calculating the probability with replacement. So let's just read the question. Now, Allianne's bag contains four orange and six blue cubes. You can see those there. A cube is selected at random. Its color is noted and placed back in the bag. Another cube is then selected at random. And we want to calculate the probability two orange cubes are selected. So you notice here, its color is noted and placed back in the bag. So that is the situation where we consider with replacement. So we would be using a tree diagram to calculate this. So here we go. I have two events. Well, the first event is selecting the first cube. The second event selecting the second cube and when I start I have six cubes which are blue and four which are orange in the bag now I can put my hand in and select a blue cube and the probability of selecting a blue cube will be six out of a total of ten or I could select an orange cube and the probability of selecting that orange cube would be four out of the ten cubes that are in the bag. Then, well this is the, what my sample space is again, well the, my list of all what the cubes that are in the bag, the cube has been put back in the bag so there are six blue, four orange. and second event I could select a blue cube that probability will be 6 out of 10 or I select an orange cube that probability will be 4 out of 10 or if I've selected an orange cube the, for the first event I could select a blue cube probability 6 out of 10 or an orange cube, probability 4 out of 10. Now, list of my outcomes. Well, I could have a blue followed by a blue, a blue followed by an orange, an orange followed by a blue, and an orange followed by an orange. Those are determined just by following the branches. For instance, blue followed by blue is there, blue 
followed by orange is along there. We continue. So if I wanted to calculate the probability of a blue followed by a blue, what I do is I multiply the probabilities along this path here. 6 out of 10 times 6 out of 10. Blue followed by an orange. Multiply this one here by this one here. Next one, orange followed by blue. Well, 4 out of 10 multiplied by 6 out of 10. And orange followed by orange. Well, 4 out of 10 followed by 4 out of 10. 16 out of 100. You'll notice if I add up the 36, the 24, the 24 and the 16, that will give me a total of 100. So 100 out of 100, which basically means that I've considered the situation in its entirety and I'm good to go. So, what was that question asking for? Well, the question asked for, calculate the probability of two orange cubes are selected. So, two orange cubes will be 16 out of 100. That may be simplified if you wish to a much simpler fraction. So, but I will leave it at that. Now, let's look at the situation where we don't have replacement, so without replacement. Questions worded very similar. Alien's bag contains four orange and six blue cubes. A cube is selected at random. It's color noted and it's not put back in the bag. So Alien may put that cube in her pocket. Another cube is then selected at random. Calculate the probability two orange cubes are selected. So the only difference here is the not. So it's not put back in the bag. It may be put back in Alien's pocket. So we have two events. First event, selecting the first cube. Second event, selecting the second cube. So looking at this, I can select a blue cube and the probability of selecting that blue cube will be 6 out of 10 or orange cube 4 out of 10. Now look here, this is where it gets slightly different. If Alien has taken that blue cube and put it in her pocket, in the bag there are now 5 blue cubes and 4 orange cubes. So if we then consider the situation where we're looking to select another blue cube, well the probability of that second blue cube on this occasion will be 5 out of 9. There are 5 blue cubes out of a total of 9 cubes. Or if I look for the orange, there are, well, there are still four cubes in there which are orange, but there are a total of nine cubes. Now we go down this path. This time Alien's put in her pocket the orange cube. So in her bag there will be the six blue and three orange. Now let's see the situation where we look to calculate the probability of a blue cube as the second cube. There will be six blue out of a total of nine. And if I go down the path of the orange, there are three orange cubes out of a total of nine there. Then we look to consider all, we follow all the branches. So we can go blue followed by blue or blue followed by orange, orange followed by blue, or orange followed by orange. And now we look to calculate the probabilities. So 6 out of 10 times 5 out of 9 this time. 6 out of 10 times 4 out of 9. 
4 out of 10 times 6 out of 9. And the, the one that we're interested in is the two oranges this time. 4 out of 10 multiplied by 3 out of 9. So the answer there we're looking at is 12 out of 90. So there you have it. We have one more problem, I think. Oh yes, we'll have one more example question. Okay, let's look at the next example. A drawer contains two red and four black unsorted socks. It is dark when I put my socks on. And I want to know what is the probability I will wear matching socks. In other words, what's the probability I will wear two red socks or the probability of wearing four black socks. Now, putting a sock on my left foot is an event and putting the sock on my right foot is the other event or if you prefer just selecting those socks. So I will start, start over here and I have two events. So E1 which is basically selecting sock 1. Now I can choose either a red sock or I could choose a black sock. Now let's have a look. What is the probability of a red sock? Now there's two out of a total of six socks. And the probability of a black sock, well there would be four out of a total of six socks. Now that's the first sock that I've put on. Now let's look for event two which is the second sock, sock two. Sock two. Now, so if I start off with red, I can select another red. Or I could select the black. Now, in this situation, well, how many socks are left in the drawer? Well, there will be only five socks left. So, each time there's only five socks left. And of those socks, if I've already selected one red one, how many red socks are left? Well, there'll be one out of five. Or, if I've selected a red one, there will still be four black ones in the drawer. Let's look at this path. All right. This time, the first sock I've selected is the black. Now, for event two, what, and I'm going to look for calculating the probability of the second one being red or black. Now, I know that there are five socks left in both situations here. Now, I've selected the first one as being black. How many red socks are still there? Well, there are still two. And how many black ones are there? Well, if we started with four and I've already put one of the black socks on, it means I have three left. So, I just look at the, looking at my different combinations, so I can have a red followed by a red, or a red followed by a black, a black followed by a red or a black followed by a black. Now I will only consider the two the situation where I'm I have matching socks. So that will be two red socks. So that would be this one here, which is two over six multiplied by one over five which equals 2 over 30. And the other one that, that I will consider, black followed by black, well, probability of one black, 4 over 6. And the second one would be 3 over 5, which equals 12 over 30, 
So the probability of wearing matching socks is basically the probability of a red and a red sock or a black and a black sock. So my answer would be 2 over 30, which is the red and the red sock, plus the 12 out of 30, which is the black and a black sock, which 14 over 30. You may simplify that fraction if you wish, but I will leave it there. So I hope this presentation has given you a better understanding of calculating probabilities when we are considering without replacement and with replacement. So until next time, good maths. Bye for now.